All right, good morning, guys. Gonna get in a travel shape today. As you can see in the back, we have a different background, and um, <clears throat> I'm recovering from a little excursion we had last night on day one of the trip. We hit up four breweries. So this is gonna be kind of like a beer theme shave. We're gonna be using Black Birch Stout from the Shaving Shop Club. This stuff's real nice. I don't actually think it smells like a stout, but it's real gourmandy. It smells, you know, like chocolate and hazelnuts and it's warm. Yeah, it's just, it's fantastic. Probably good for Valentine's Day too, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what we're using today. You can see it has this real brownish. Probably because it has vanilla somewhere in the mix. Because vanilla adds that dark character to the soap. Yeah, this stuff is amazing. <clears throat> so that's what we're using today. Black Birch Stout by the Club. Now I was recently at a, a coffee stout beer festival. And they gave us these little mugs from Varietal Beer Co. As a part of the little swag bag entry gift type thing. The beer fest was called Shadowfall. And uh, that was real awesome. So I'm going to be using this as my little shave mug today. Got some soap pressed into the bottom. I don't know. Can't really see it because the light. But it's down there. Got my little hotel plastic cup here. I'm going to be using my turn and shave. <coughs> Badger brush. This thing's awesome. Alright, so I'm just gonna squeeze some water out and we'll get going. <coughs> now, these, uh, you will hear some clinking on this one, but it was all, it was all for the, uh, to go with the shave, the beer theme. So, sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> now, these guys don't have a plug for their sink. So I got a water bottle here, and I got a little water in my cup. But if I need to turn it on to rinse off, just letting you guys know. <clears throat> and that is pretty dry. I'm going to add some water right off the rip. <clears throat> turns out this brush is either too short or the mug itself. I, I don't think I've ever uh, lathered up out of a mug. I mean, it's happening, but never done it before. <clears throat> so yeah, so day one we hit up four breweries. Three on the Washington State side, one on the Oregon side. We had a great time. I knocked a, I knocked a few of them off of my, uh, my wish list that I wanted to go to. So that was great. I had my wife with me the whole time, so that was great. <clears throat> and today is the uh, Festival of the Dark Arts, the Stout Fest. <clears throat> All about dark beers, pretty much. Stouts, porters, <clears throat> barrel aged stouts, stuff like that. It's gonna be key to hydrate. <laughs> <coughs> Gotta recover first. Be drinking water all morning, and then in the evening comes the fun part. I got a clump of soap hanging on to the edge here. I'm gonna see if I can. Squish it back in the middle. <clears throat> Smells amazing. Alright. I'm gonna wet the face and uh we'll see what we can see what we can do here. <clears throat> Again, sorry about the uh, water. Now in the 
the sun strength in the tub is probably a six out of seven and I'd say it maintains that on the face Ariana and Evans as well as the uh, shaving shop club they're known for pretty bold scents the majority of the time so just expect a pretty pretty good scent strength good layer there not as pillowy as I normally get it but might be might be due to the uh, shave mug format <clears throat> who knows let me get some more out of there off the hand because I feel the slickness on my fingertips. And we'll get started. <clears throat> I'm using my shit golden 500 again. This thing's a badass little shaver. Go ahead and Probably not the best I've ever done lather wise with um, this soap base, but it'll get the job done. Like I said, you don't need to have pillows and pillows of uh, lather to <clears throat> get that slickness. That slickness is going to be there regardless, pretty much, as long as it's hydrated. That's why a lot of times. If I mess up and overhydrate it, I just go with it. It's no big deal. Like the slickness is still there. All right. I just kind of filled up my cup <clears throat> with water so I could rinse this off. And stuff is so slick. There's just no issue whatsoever. You can kind of see. I know sometimes people are real sticklers, but you could definitely see it's doing its job. <coughs> <coughs> Some people have the nerve to say that I'm not cutting anything off. They don't see any growth. When I have a full beard on my face, it's like, come on, <clears throat> come on, guy, <laughs> get your head out of your ass. I wouldn't be standing in front of a fucking camera if I didn't. <clears throat> this stuff is smooth as hell. And I love the, the scent on this. Not everybody's into gourmand scents, but I dig them. Chocolatey, nutty. It just smells like dessert. It's great. All right, here comes water again. Try to make this fast. <laughs> So what's everybody else doing this weekend? Kind of covered my game plan. Gonna get blacked out at the Festival of Dark Arts, probably. Probably won't black out, but we're gonna get uh, a hefty buzz going. That's for damn sure. All right. Try to get some more of this soap in here. In hindsight, Shave mug was good for the beer theme. Not my favorite format of uh, building a lather. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm 
definitely missing my Lancaster bowl right about now. This badger that I have on the turn and shave was one of his uh, older offerings. At the time it might have been premium, but I have a couple knots that are more enjoyable to me nowadays. But this one has always been a good little um, badger bulb for me. And it's always done the job. It's always had good flow through. It's always gave up the soap <clears throat> when I did a little spin on my face like that. So, definitely gets the job done. I, I still enjoy it quite a bit. Let's see, get another one of these little, oops. Fingers were too slick to do the swirl motion that I usually, usually try to get some soap out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna rinse off my fingers again. I'll be ready for some breakfast after this. Stuff smells great. All right, against the grain with the uh, Shea Golden 500. Never had a problem with the razor. You notice I kind of like put my finger at the end. I don't know. That's my grip there when I'm doing my against the grain. Works for me. I mean, you guys could do what you do, but works for me. I feel like I have a lot of control over it. It's a lightweight razor, so I have control over the uh, pressure, which is always a good thing. Very nice. Very smooth. <clears throat> Probably sound like a broken record, but you gotta get yourself a shit. If you haven't tried to shake, you owe it to yourself. Everything about them I think is pretty intuitive from the way you load the blades with the little injector cartridge, kind of like you're uh, hitting the slide on a handgun or something, you just ch -ch -ch. brand new blade just like that. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, give it a check here. good to me. Feels good. Alright, I'm going to rinse off. Sorry about the water. I don't normally. When I'm at home, I don't have the water, but at the hotel, I got to work with what they give me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the rest off with the towel. <clears throat> These hard ass towels. Like putting sandpaper across your face. Nothing like my <clears throat> Lancaster towel that I have at home.
My sin strength is still in full effect right now. <clears throat> definitely say I don't know if you can see you can see the brown tinge on the towel kind of it's definitely from that vanilla in the soap I'm assuming there's something to be aware of maybe use a a colored or a dark dark colored towel luckily this is on the hotel's expense so I don't give a damn All right. I think we finally got her. Let me just set that down there. <clears throat> Grab a drink here. Got to hydrate for this evening. Now look at this badass aftershave splash. <clears throat> Looks like a big ass 22 ounce bottle of beer <clears throat> shaving shop club black birch stout <clears throat> splash to cleanse your soul look at that fucked up thing on my hand <laughs> anyhow we'll give this a little shake it has this belgian style cork with the cage on top not really unless it's a belgian stout it's not really normally seen on stouts but it's seen on belgian beers but it's cool nevertheless let's get the cork off here there is no restrictor on this one. Oh man Ooh, that's that even has a little hint of maple hmm all right so tip it for you there's no restrictor so, what you do is you put your thumb to where it covers the majority of the opening, not the whole thing, and use that as a restrictor. Get a good grip on it, but... There we go. Hopefully, I was in frame. I was focusing, but... <clears throat> And of course, Ariana and Evans, as well as the shaving shop, they have a uh, very skin food type splash. Woo, woo, woo. Got a little bit away from me there. No alcohol burn. It's just all soothing and skin food, so. I'll be feeling great in no time here after it soaks in and gets to do its job. I'm just kind of putting the uh, remainder on my forearms here as this will serve as my scent of the day, my fragrance for today. <clears throat> All right, we'll do a quick recap and we'll get out of here. Man, got uh, the black birch stout. Soap and aftershave. Every now and then, Peter does one of these cool uh, decanters for the aftershave splash um, that are in these like random cool bottles. That's awesome. That's just it's it's what sets them apart, really. But yeah, black birch stout. I use my Schick injector here, my Golden 500. It's got the little soap on it at the moment, but very nice razor smooth and I would say right around medium efficiency <clears throat> I use my little beer mug as well as my turn and shave badger brush one of my favorite badger brushes with that white and black marble as well as the silver and black swirl this thing's awesome <clears throat> and that'll pretty much do it for me so have a good weekend I know I will if I remember it <laughs> But definitely going to have some fun drinking these stouts at the Festival of the Dark Arts. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, travel shave, and uh, peace out. Cheers.